showcase a stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments mankind has achieved his dream this is home on the biggest stage the boyhood dream what did we just see daniel Bryan did it the miracle kid to the greatest conflicts from the biggest names but this showcase is about a man a man who became a legend a man named stone cold steve austin after learning his craft from gentleman chris adams austin would begin his career in 1989. i've been very impressed by steve austin's ability he's showing that he has a potential to go a long long way in 1991 the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx and Mel said I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're going to put the U.S. title on you, and then we're going to take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on to bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. So, welcome to my WWE 2K16 2K Showcase uh, Austin 316 section of the 2K Showcase that is. I've done the Hall of Fame in the previous video as you can, as you can see, 100% done that, all the objectives. Um, and now this is the first match for the Stone Cold Steve Austin Showcase. Pretty sure this match is going to be against like Jake the Snake Roberts. Pretty sure. That'd be a big moment, that's when he cut his uh, gentlemen, first 316 promo. After his first matchup with Wildman Mark Merrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I gotta wonder... You're wondering why the video was a bit quiet to start, is because I was actually talking, but my commentary button wasn't pressed down. So, yeah, I had to repeat it all. <laughs> At least you got to watch all those cutscenes in quiet though. Without me rambling on about uh, nostalgic wrestling memories. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I knew it. That man. And King, that man, Jake the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big fuck that. To wrestle these two badasses in one night. Left in the ring. 450 pounds. Oh, he's king of the ring. One night tournament. To what degree we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, struggling to even get his his reptile, his reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one. Stone Cold Stunner. And the Rattlesnake 
showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stomping a mud hole and Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounded poor Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh, man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, man. I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is going right, to be able to get back damage. to his feet. He's reversed that straight away. Oh, yeah. Oh, he reversed it. Uh-oh. I think that really stone hurt his arm. Cold. The toll from this match is really starting to show. Get your ass up. A very clever move. What a smart athlete. Just did a fucking... Yeah, bomb. give me that power bomb straight. What else he got? Pole driver. And he goes down hard. Crushy skull. That head, giving some of those stone cold stomp. He's taking his opponent to school here, and he unloads with everything he's got. Oh, shit. And what a reversal from Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, too late. Perfectly executed. Come on, you know why he's wearing that top? He's a fat fuck. Too late, my ass. Oh, there. Bringing it back between the ropes. Well, it could be a changing of the guard here tonight. That break of boots. The snake. Huh, partner? If he keeps up this pace, this can turn soon, real trust me. ugly real fast. Have some of this, boyo. Oh, what? He counted it, motherfucker. Check the snake, Roberts, the reverse. He counted my fucking signature, man. There it is. Well done. He's gonna end up getting me to fucking crit critical damage. Probably get his ass. And a reversal! Oh no, that slam didn't look pretty! Uh oh! Let's see if he does the old Bret Hart elbow forearm smash. Oh! Boosh! You know it. Hit Jake with the stunner. Get up, you piece of shit. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Oh, well, let's give the Lou face press another go. He's showing no. Oh, he's dodged killer. my signature again, oh, son of a, a bitch. Kick. This is unreal. It's only on normal as well. The and the kick out. Austin doesn't Fucking get tired. son of a he bitch. Mad. Fuck, my health's gonna be red soon. Dead center to the midsection. Ouch. Yeah, have your own finish it done to you slag. Some of this shit. Get up. Get up. Fuck you. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn Right, really this is the third time now we're gonna try the signature. Hopefully he doesn't dodge it this time. Oh, looking to there we go. Steve Austin. And we're starting to Cut see him. blood flow. Jake the Snake Roberts is injured. See that double finger? Whoa! Come on, get, get up. up. The King of the Ring Finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah! Oh, that's the old school stunner. stunner. The stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts. And the referee counts as three. And Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. That was the lamest stunner ever. The winner of this bout. And now, reigning king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new king of the ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin?
just this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's going to look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel even wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. <laughs> piece of crap. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I've proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his pride. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. It's... As far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Yeah. Obviously, anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I don't think you'll see him wearing that shit, that's for sure. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, no. 